show you my studio and I thought it might be interesting for you guys to to see how we can set up a small digital fabrication workshop. Say you've been going to your local fab lab or hackerspace, got inspired, and now you want to make a living making stuff, this is how you can do it. So, door for the studio is actually a repurposed sacrificial layer from the chocolate milling machine, which is largely dominating the studio. So, what we basically do is sit and design here, in this station, and then, you know, when we have a design, we send it off and mill it out on the computer. So we have the shopboard milling computer here. And then here in the back of the studio, we have a, sort of a classic analog uh, bench for finishing and so on. Then we got a dust extraction for dust. And then here we have the material storage. So see, we got planks, solid wood, uh, plate material and so on and some scraps. And actually what we've been uh, researching a lot is uh, inputs and outputs. So you can see we've been using a camera to track positions of material. But we also got here a projector which helps us uh, show in real time the scale and positions of the designs we're working on. So I'm going to demonstrate the system for you now with the Hello World. So we actually made our own vacuum jig as well. And in this case we have a mask to hold these coin blanks in place from a, a workshop with it. So I place the blanks. Then we're running um, open sound control from a touch pad, a touch, touch interface. So what this uh, enables us to do is to both set the position of a design and the scale. And of course we can have any kind of input parameters that we want. Uh, so it's basically a, a way of having parametric input in order to, to set the, the parameters that will determine a design. So in this case you see I can sort of try and position our text, our hello world and grave text, both the scale and position. I think that's good enough. And actually you can see here is we're showing uh, the, the G code that's being generated, or the, the, the shopboard code, and which is changing in real time. So, it's, what's nice is that the, the system is actually streaming the code in real time. So I can now start a vacuum cleaner to hold the material in place, I can run the file. So there we have our hello world and now we want to engrave the back side as well. So I put the, the coin back in here and then over here we got the, our system running. It's a grasshopper definition in, running inside a rhino. So if I want to change the text I can just type the text I want to have engraved and you can see it changes here. We update actually again the code in real time. You can see on the projector it's been changing. And now I can run the file again.
Fab Life. So this is how we've been researching different ways of, of working with the machine, trying to bring the interface to the machine instead of sitting behind a screen and a keyboard. And for the rest, of course, we've been making most of the studio with the uh, milling machine. So you see, we got the material system, we got the classic layout here. We also got a, a newly developed table here where you can actually see that uh, parts for the support carriage is actually coming out from the catch it from the table. Uh, basic safety equipment, lots of samples of, of things we've been making here. We made for a client last year a, a big table to match the, the layer chair and uh, making the material storage and so on. The files for the system and, and, and most of the other designs you'll find them on my website and on GitHub. And that's it for now.